Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome to our Fitness Pilates class. Um, last week we did a very tough one, very tough one last week. So this week's going to be a little bit different. My glasses aren't fitting right. It's going to be more about flexibility, strength and stretch. So if you're dreading it, don't worry, please don't dread it. <laughs> um, so it's our Fitness Pilates class. This is our 35 minute class for people who've done Pilates before and it includes our five minute relaxation at the end. Now I've got my hand weights and I've also got my um, band, well, tie, um, and mat. Nothing else is required um, apart from maybe a, a nice happy smiley face. So perhaps you can summon up a smile. It's the first of April today. No April Fools are gonna be present in any of my classes so you can just relax. <laughs> that wasn't an April Fool's saying it was going to be relaxing. So we're going to get ourselves going, everybody. Um, hopefully you're all feeling well. And remember, as we go through the class, if we come to something that makes you go, then just stop. Okay, make sure you monitor yourself. If, for example, say you've got a bit of an achy shoulder, then when we do stuff involving shoulders, do a little bit, then rest. Do a little bit, then rest. You know, don't go mad. We all have got to go about the rest of our normal lives today. So we're going to get going. Um, I'm going to start off sit seated and we're going to do some nice stretching to begin with. So if you're feeling a bit stiff this morning, join the gang, so am I. If you want to sit on a cushion, by all means sit on a cushion. We know that elevates your hips a bit, or your bottom makes the hips a bit less uncomfortable. I am going to make myself suffer it. My hips are very tight. I went for a big cycle ride yesterday and um, I need to stretch them. So sitting cross-legged is a great way to get into those bottoms of hips. So sit lovely and tall for me, everybody. Take a breath in, and then relax your shoulders down. Let that tension ease away from your shoulders. Breath in again, and then exhale, relax yourself down. So let's start with a little bit of a twist. So one hand in front, one hand behind. Rotate round. Bring yourselves back into the middle. Gently go the other way, a bit of rotation. Now I am using my hands on the floor to add a little bit of extra push through that twist, but I'm not going crazy. Into the center, arms come up. Let's do that twist again. Little twist, arms come up. So I'm hoping you're doing all the right things, I'm sure you are. You've got a lovely straight back. You're pulling in your stomach muscles. Your chin is very slightly tucked, so you don't build lots of tension up along your neck and shoulders. Let's just do a couple. Couple more. One more. Lovely. Side bends coming next. Hands go down to the floor. Ease one way, ease the other. So you know how you're feeling. You might already have decided to stick your legs straight out in front instead. That is fine. Keep your bottoms firmly glued to the floor. That's it, lovely. We're gonna go back to our twist again. Lovely tall, breath in, twist, middle, reach up. Twist the other way, middle, Reach up. Now that's side bend, but I'm going to add arm overhead. Two more. Let's do that twist again. Here we go. Twist. Arms come up. Twist. Arms come up. Lovely. Side bend. Welcome everybody who's there. Oh, at last you're popping up. I can see the names coming up. Good morning, everybody. I'll name check you in a bit. Let's do that one more time through. Little twist. Reach high. Little twist. Reach high. Here comes our side bend. Keep your bottom glued. Oh, that's working. Anyone who did the complete conditioning yesterday? Probably feeling a bit stiff this morning. I know I am. Oh, well done. Bring those legs in. Oh, give a little shake out. Well done, everybody. Okay, everybody with your legs out in front now for me. Um, I'm going to sit sideways so you can see what I'm doing. Legs are straight. Back is straight. Tummy muscles working hard. Breathe in. All I'm going to ask you to do is tuck your chin in and roll forward. So it's like a partial roll down, really. Now, like I said, I went for a big cycle ride yesterday. 
and the backs of my legs, despite all my best efforts at stretching, backs of my legs are really feeling that. So I'm going to keep it there. Some of you may go lower. That's great if you can. Bring yourselves back up. Let's go down again. Tuck your chin, tummy pulled in. Take yourself forward. Arms are heavy, head's heavy. And we're just letting that really unpleasant stretch travel all the way down the backs of your legs. Good, bring yourselves back up. One foot comes in, I'm tucking it out and I face again. Okay, and we're gonna have a little lean. We're gonna turn to that raised knee. And we're gonna bring our chest down. Don't worry if your bottom lifts a bit, it will. Bring yourselves up. Turn to your straight leg. Down we go. Bring yourself back up. Middle. Super. Change your legs over. Good one. I can see Leslie's there and Paula. Carol, I think. I'm just about to see that. Turn to that raised knee. Chest goes down. Bring yourself back up. Straight leg. Chest goes down. Middle position, chest goes down. Lovely, legs straight again. Same thing we did last time, tuck your chin, lean your body forward, so elbows are hanging. You're breathing hard, oh, I can see, I can't quite read that bit. Leslie's there, oh, I can't quite read it, but welcome everybody. Head's relaxed. Let that stretch just happen, try not to fight it. Good, bring that foot up again for me. Cross this knee. Hold it for longer now. Now I'm trying to bring my shoulders round so that I bring my chest towards that thigh. Up you come. Same thing here. Felicia's there. Hello, Felicia. Good. Bring yourselves back up. Down that central position. Down we go. Excellent. Up you come. Other side. Oh, my knee with a lovely cracking noise then. Turn towards that raised knee. Chest goes down. Try not to lift your bottom too much. It's quite difficult. Just do your best on that. Turn to that straight leg. Down we go. And down that central position. Good work, Harry. Give us a little shake out. We're going to come onto our hands and knees now. I'm going to do a nice little back stretch. Don't be fooled, it's going to get harder. So, big breath in. Arch your back up. Hold it there for me. Bottom tucked under. All the way down and into cow pose. Oh, that's a good one. Bring yourselves up again through that lovely cat stretch. Through neutral, down into cow. Good, well done. Okay, up onto those kneeling position for me. Bring one leg forward, doesn't matter which one. Take it forward, it's gonna go a long way. And we're gonna lean down. Now we did do this the other day, I think. So we're leaning deep into those hips. As I'm leaning forward, so I'm not really high here, I'm leaning forward so that I've got a nice back shape. Hold it there, everyone breathe. Now if you can, Pop your opposite hand to the floor. So I've got my right foot, left hand, and my right hand's gonna cross behind my back, and hopefully you can see that. Now I'm gonna rotate my body, and I'm gonna look over my right side. So obviously if you're the other way around, you're facing the other way. Bring yourself back, tummy on, up you come. Back to hands and knees, back to our cat stretch. Up you go. Oh, down neutral, into cow. So particularly for those of you who did have done all the classes this week, including the conditioning class, it's a good way to get our body moving if it's a little bit stiff this morning. Good morning, Cathy. Foot comes forward, lean into it. And again, allow this stretch to happen. I'm breathing as best I can. Those who want extra, opposite hand goes to the floor, other hand comes behind your back, and you turn. So I'm pulling that shoulder back, creating a twist. Good, well done. Back up you come. Oh. Sit yourselves back, well done. We're gonna have a little breathe in. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, fantastic. Well, seeing as we are here on our hands and knees, we're gonna do a little bit of balancing work. 
So hands and knees, tummy muscles pulled in tight. We're going to do Superman. So ease opposite hand, opposite leg out. I want you to hold that balance position. Pull in your tummy, don't do anything else, just hold. Good, slowly back down without looking too relieved. And then we're going to do the other opposite. My foot is just almost touching that chair behind me. Lengthen your fingertips one way, so your toes the other. Hold. Breathe. Bring it slowly back. Next time, we're going to travel the arms and legs slightly. So when you're ready, bring yourselves up. So hold that same position. Lengthen. Now without moving your head, arm travels to the side, legs go to the leg goes to the side. Bring them back in. Take them slowly down. Have a little breather. Do the same thing again. Up we go. Lengthen. I've got cramp in my right foot, so ignore what I'm doing with my foot. <laughs> we should be pointing. Oh, that's better. Hold it there. Can you drift those arms and legs out? Don't move your head. Drift them back again. Take them down. Oh. Good work. Shake those wrists out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Okay, back onto those hands and knees again. Same thing. What we're going to do next time, we're going to tap the hand and foot down and bring them up as well. So it's getting more complicated. Okay, lovely flat back. Tummy muscles pulled in. Opposites. Let's just hold this position first. We are not rushing. Hold it there, breathe. Drift the arm and leg out. Drift them back in, hold. And then your hand and foot gently come down, they touch the floor and they come back up. And we change over. Over we go, so extend. Oh, cramp back again. Breathe everybody. Ready to drift? Out we go. Don't let that head move. It's tempting to move your head, but don't. Keep staring at the floor. Bring the arm and leg back. Hold. Tap down. Bring it back up. And sit back. <laughs> Breathe in, reach up. Exhale. How's it going, everybody? And again. Breathe in, reach up. So there's one more thing we're going to add in, and some of you will remember this one. I might just quickly demonstrate it for you. So we're going to have done the other three things. We're going to be here, and then we're going to take our hand, and we're going to see if we can touch our foot. And I'm going to take it back, and I'm going to come down. Now, don't worry if you have a wobble. If you'd rather just leave it, then stick with the other three things. Don't add that fourth thing. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Tummy muscles pulled in. First of all, just the basic hold. Up we go, hold. Oh, it's going that chair. Hold it there. Tummy muscles in, yes. This is tough work on back and stomach, so get the belly up. Extend and drift. Drift back in. Oh, hold it there. Tap it down. Bring it back up, hold it. And here's the circus tricks. Touch that foot. Take it back, bring it down. Oh, it's hard work, isn't it? Other opposites, out we go. So hold that extended position. Fixing your eyes on your, your rug or your carpet will help. Drift out. Drift back, hold it there. Tap down. Tap up, or reach up, I should say. Touch your foot. Take it back. Ooh, had a wobble there. Bring yourself back. Oh, well done. Shake those hands out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down. And again, inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Wonderful. We're going to do one more balance challenge, which is also a stretch. Won't suit everybody, so just do it if it's, it is suitable for you. So first of all, you might want to be near your furniture because you can hang on to your furniture for this. Knees, yep. Okay, what I want you to do, 
is take hold. One leg comes up first of all. That would be useful. Okay, and then lean forward a little bit. See if you can get hold of your foot. Now, again, some of us are built for this and some of us are not. If you've got furniture near you, put your hand on your furniture. And I want you to be lovely and tall. If you can, opposite arm will extend up in the air. Yeah, breathe. Breathe, breathe. Can you push your hips forward a tiny bit more? This is a wonderful thigh stretch. Great for those of us whose thighs are a bit tight today. Down we go. How do we do? Yeah, good, not so good. <laughs> Let's do the other side. So foot forward. Take it in stages. First of all, lean forward a little bit so I can free my foot up behind. I work till I get hold of my foot and then I bring my chest back up a little bit. Tummy on, hips pushing forward, opposite arm climbs up. Hold it here, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hips forwards. Oh. And release it all down. Well done, everyone. Have a little shake out, have a little drink. Let me see who else is with us while we're here. Going to go onto our backs now, guys. Victor, hello. Leslie, Paula, Carol, Jean, Lorraine, Sam, Lauren. Welcome, everybody. Okay, to the floor. If you've got your hand weights, we're going to use them. So all the way down to the floor. <sighs> nice to have a little lie down for a minute. So I'm going to take my glasses off because they're getting right my nerves. So we're going to do a little bit of bridge. Breath in. Pelvic tilt. Bring yourself up to bridge. Hold it here. Bottom squeeze. Hips lift. Lovely. Just hold. Then come all the way down. Hands behind your head. Two slow sit-ups. And again. Good. Well done. Okay, let's go into that bridge again. Breath in. Pelvic tilt. Up you come. Lifting those hips. Weight pushing into shoulders. Tummy on. Hold it. Bring yourself slowly down. Hands behind your head. Two sit-ups. Don't forget we've got our bite side strength at quarter past ten today. And today's focus is going to be tummies. I did it around the wrong way. It should have been arms today and tummies on Tuesday. But I got it around the wrong way, so sorry. So it's tummies today. If you want to do arms, just watch the video from Tuesday. Lift those hips. Down we go. All in a lovely and smoothly through your back. Hands behind your head. Sit up. One more. Good, okay, so we're going to use our hand weights now. You need a bit of space behind you. She says, I'm going to shuffle down a little bit. So make sure you've got room behind you. Okay, both hands. Bring them up towards the ceiling. Now, I'm not in bridge. I'm not in bridge yet. Okay, breath in. Arms are going to go overhead. Then they're going to come back in. Then they're going to go out wide. Controlling the move. So if you've got very light weights, it doesn't matter. But if you have got a one kilogram weight, something like that around, that will be even better. Good. Hands down beside you. Breath in. Pelvic tilt. Up to bridge. All the way up to bridge. Arms come up. Now we're not going to do the move we just did. Breath in. Breathe. Hold it here. Can you lift your hips a bit higher? Excellent. Roll yourself down all the way to the floor, and then we're going to do the arms. So we're going to go over and back. Then we're going to go out to the side. Overhead. Out to the side. Lovely. Hands down beside you. Now I want you to do some leg extensions, one at a time. So it's smooth out, then it's back in. So I know these are very easy, but listen, we are going to add to them. So don't worry if you're thinking, oh, way too easy. Taking your time. And now keep the legs going. But we're going to add those same arm movements in, do you remember? So it's arms overhead. And then back in. Then arms out. Now that's quite hard because your brain is telling you that's wrong. <laughs> arms overhead. 
arms out wide, still keeping the legs going straight. Now this is a great chance to work your core. So pulling in your stomach muscles, breathing. How are we doing everybody? It's my brain is telling me that this move here is wrong. It's not, it's a good one to do. Two more times. One more time, brilliant. Now start with your arms overhead. So we're gonna keep them here as we go up into our bridge. Don't let them wobble. Good, hold it here. So your hips are lifted, your hands are raised. Now we're gonna partly go down. So slight drop down, then bring yourself up again. Now I want you to really fix your eyes on your hands. Do it again, because I want those hands to stay still. Two more, go down. One more, we're gonna go all the way to the floor. It's hard, all the way down. Ready for those leg extensions, arms overhead. Then out to the side. I'm having to really focus. I'm staring at the ceiling. Concentrating. Exhale with one move. In with the next. And if you have got hand weights, hold them firmly, but don't grip them with a death grip because you'll end up with really uncomfortable hands. So don't drop them on your face either. One more. Good. Pop the weights down beside you, hands behind your head, sit-ups. So slow, and then down. And again, slow to do four of these. This is number two. Two to go. And down. One more. Bam. It. Give your knees a little hug in, a little bounce. Not quite done with that sequence yet. We're going to do it for a couple more times. What the thing is, I'm, what I'm looking for is just very stillness. So your body is not rocking side to side. Everything's very still. Your limbs are moving, but everything else is staying really, really, really still. Okay, so remember we started with those arms in the air. That's a great measure. You can see whether you're mobbling about by looking at your hands. Breath in pelvic tilt, bring yourself up into that bridge position, drop down slightly, go up, drop down slightly, go up, we've got two more to go, it's up to you how low and high you go, you can choose, one more, down to the floor, okay do you remember the leg extensions, here we go, so one leg goes out, arms go overhead, one leg goes out, arms go to side. And I'm really concentrating. And again, pop your hand weights down to the floor. Four sit-ups, so hands behind your head. Breath in, off we go. Up you come, and then down. As you rise, make sure it's actually your stomach muscles you're using, pull them in. Oh, then release. Pull them in again. Fantastic. Last time through with this sequence. Arms above your head. Breath in. Pelvic tilt. Up you come to your bridge. Get settled there. Nice and high this time. Drop down. Come up. I'm watching my hands because if you make it bigger movements, chances are you're going to wobble more. So try to keep lovely and still. One more. All the way down. Here come our leg extensions. Are you ready? Tummy switched on. Overhead. Oop. <laughs> I ran out of space. <laughs> arms that one. I seem to progress my way towards my sofa. So I'm going to bend my arms so I can get them down. And again. Let's do two more of these. Nice and smoothly. Obviously you're extending your arms, whereas I'm crunching mine under the sofa. One more. Lovely, pop those weights down, hands behind your head, breathe in. Exhale, inhale. As you're rising, see if you can pull up your pelvic floor. And down, two more.
Rumble. Oh, well done. Have a lovely stretch out, everybody. Maybe a little rock side to side. Good work. We're going to do a little bit more stretching now. This is where the band comes in useful. So if you've got your band, let me just take care of it. Okay, so we're going to start off by crossing my right foot on top of my left leg. And then I'm going to open my right knee out. Now, at this point, you can either grab your opposite thigh with your hands or you can use your band there. So whatever works for you. So I'm getting hold of my leg and then returning my head and shoulders to the floor. And I'm letting my hips stretch. And I can't tell you how tight it is. <laughs> so tight. Breathe in. Can you work that leg a bit closer? So I'm using my foot here. It's not crossed over. To push in. Oh, I'm pushing that knee in. And yes, what a big stretch. Hold it there. Breathe. A little bit longer. Well done. Release your leg down. Take hold of your band if you've got one. Pop it around your ankle. If not, just hold the back of your thigh or calf. And we're going to stretch our hamstrings again. Now, we did a bit at the beginning, didn't we? When we're sitting up straight. Straighten your leg through. Bring that leg in. Oh, lovely. Now, quite often in class, I see it, people do this. They push off because they want to get their leg higher. Honestly, it doesn't matter. The main thing is you feel a stretch. Whatever leg position that is for you, we're all so different. So please don't feel you've got to kind of reach some sort of amazing position with that leg. I just want you to have a stretch. Breathe in. A little bit more. Oh, hold it there. Breathe in. Well done. Down goes that leg. So we're going to repeat it on the other side. We do that crossover. That knee opens out wide. And then when you're ready, grab hold of your thigh. I can't believe the temperature changed today. Now yesterday in here, it was boiling. Today, it's actually quite chilly. <laughs> Bring your knee in a bit more. Ooh. Can you use the other foot, remember? To use that leg to push in. And we're creating a big twist. This twist goes from your ankle right through to your hip. So don't be surprised if you think, actually, it's not my bum that's stretching, it's in my knee. We're putting a stretch right through, so don't worry. As long as it's not painful, you're doing it great. A little bit longer. Good, release it down. Again, band, optional. Up goes that leg in the air. Nice and easy, always check how that leg is feeling before you apply any kind of pull. Because you know what, one leg might stretch really well, other leg might not. So just listen to the information your body's providing you with. Can you straighten your leg a little bit more? Can you pull it over a little bit more? That's a beauty. It's a beauty. Holding it there. Tiny bit longer. Honestly, not much more. We're almost done. Well done. Release your legs down. Have a lovely big stretch out. Rock your hips side to side. Fantastic. We are going to go to our relaxation now, so you can stay where you are. I'm going to roll over and just get the, uh, the music on. Get yourselves nice and comfortable. Make sure you are fairly warm. Right, everybody, well done. Who else is here that I haven't said hello to today? Anyone that I missed? I think I said hello to most of you. Yeah, I think, oh, Lauren, hello, Lauren. Right, everybody, so get yourselves lovely and comfortable. Lie down. You can see, sit, you don't have to lie down. You can do it seated as well. Um, and I want you to find a comfortable position because we are going to enjoy a little bit of relaxation. So lying yourself down, close your eyes. If you are lying on your back, if you can open your arms wide, then turning your palms up is quite a nice way to do it. It relaxes the shoulders, 
stretches the chest. My legs are quite wide apart and I'm giving my feet a bit of a wibble about to settle, even having a little rock side to side and let the body settle down. Deep in breath, long slow exhale.
we're going to bring yourselves back into the room now. Have a little wriggle with your fingers and your toes. Nice big stretch. Oh. And then when you're ready, maybe draw your knees in. Quite nice to give those knees a hug in. And that gives your lower back a stretch through as well. So pull those knees in. If you want to tuck your chin in and make yourself like a little ball, by all means do. But otherwise, pull those knees in nice and firmly so you get that stretch through your bottom and your lower back. Roll on to your side. Bring yourselves up to sitting. Very, very well done, everyone. Oh, that was great, Jean. Oh, I thought I enjoyed that as well. A little bit less frantic than last week. Big breath in, reach up. Exhale. I don't like you to get to, to be too, too predictable for you. I like to keep you guessing. Inhale. Exhale. Fantastic. Very, very well done, everybody. So we've got the bite size strength tummies that's coming in about 10 minutes, just under. So if you're joining me for that, I'll see you then. If not, have a very nice 1st of April. Avoid those pranksters in your household, if there are any. Oh, thank you, Sam. Um, and I will catch up with you tomorrow. It's Friday tomorrow. Yes, it is, it is. So tomorrow we've got our um, bite-sized Pilates, um, which is the extra one. So we do all the stretching, flexibility, and we also have our longer relaxation, plus the wake-up class before that. Thanks, Carol. Um, have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch up with you in a minute or tomorrow. Bye.